Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fahd Daud. I talk about real estate investments in Dubai, across the world, internationally. Your life, my life, and our path to financial freedom. Look, if you haven't pressed the subscribe button, hit it now. Press the bell icon. My kids love it. I'm officially a YouTuber to them. Please don't let me down, right? Look, a lot of times I encourage people to ask me questions that they might have vis-a-vis uh, -vis some of the videos that I'm making. Um, one of the questions that one of my subscribers, viewers asked me in the comment section below was, what do you see with the current scenario with, this is their take on the situation, right? Uh, lack of access to funds by investors, uh, lack of new investors into the real estate market, uh, construction projects may be slowing down, the economy not doing as well as perhaps it was before. Now, there's tons. So, so let me just give you, a, a, I want to make this video and give you something. I want to share something that might be some food for thought for you. So if I was going to give you a table of contents, that then there's one little gold nugget that I'm going to share with you with regards to injection of money into the system. But let me pre-frame that and let you know that I've got no crystal ball and I don't assume neither proclaim that I'm always right or I have all the answers. However, I do have observations because I've been in the real estate market for about 14 plus years internationally, right? I've done my own investments. I have made money, lost money, and sometimes made no money at all. And I've helped a lot of other investors uh, sell and buy properties, sell sometimes at a loss because that was the best scenario that they had, buy properties and then make money after selling them as well. So I've seen the whole roller coaster. I've been through the global financial crisis as well. I, to be honest with you, I'm also an author. I've written a book, The Real Estate, The Intelligent Real Estate Investor. And I've talked and I've borrowed a lot of principles in that book from uh, Warren Buffett's value investing approach, which essentially says that if you're looking at the fundamentals of an investment, good quality, good location, supply and demand, uh, the infrastructure of the city, uh, the security, uh, the influx of uh, new immigrants or entrants, etc., etc., which are fundamentals, you probably almost always can never go wrong. But I don't live in a bubble, right? My last video talked about how real estate asset, just like gold, stocks, shares, the prices are always affected by the mood of the people, right? Depending on where the mood of the people is, real estate investment and their prices are also going to get affected. So, you know, if the mood of the people currently under lockdown is somber, obviously real estate prices is going to reflect that. But one of the things that I want you, and this is the food for thought that I'm going to leave you with. Some of you lived through the global financial crisis. I lived through it. I had to shut down my real estate company back then. And I've really gone through a lot of pain, but I feel better for it because I've learned tons out of it. One of the things that I want to share with you is some of you might remember that to come out of that crisis, now I'm not saying good or bad, the government, the World Bank, IMF, the European Central Bank, the US Federal Reserve, and all local governments injected billions and billions and billions of dollars into the local economy to make sure that people weren't going to suffer, there was going to be enough liquidity in the banking system. Now, I know that we're not in a similar situation, but even before we've taken let's say, uh, how do you call it, even before we've taken stock of the entire damage to the economy or what say you, uh, I personally don't like to use the word corona, I like to use the word CR I don't like to use the word damage, I like to say changes are coming, right? So even before we've taken stock of what the new norm is going to be, the world governments, the US government, the European governments, and the UAE as well, have announced trillions, I'm not saying billions, this time, it's trillions of dollars of injections into the economy through the banking system. What happened the last time? Now, please know that I'm not saying that it's going to happen again, but what happened the last time, right? And I'm also, I'm pre-framing this, right, with disclaimers so that you'll hear me out clearly that I'm right now 
building a framework that takes you into account not just the injection of money and capital into the system but other things as well to see what asset prices might be in a year or two years but what happened in the global financial crisis the depth of it 2008 and all this money was coming into the system by 2009 and then 10 hitting rock bottom uh, 11 12 we started seeing asset prices rising again because it's just the norm People have this herd community. When they start getting all this money into the system, they need to then start investing it as well, right? I say, this is something that I've always maintained in close circles, that investors have this itch, right? Their hands are always itching when they've got money piling up. So even though they might believe to conserve cash, very soon their palms start itching and they're going to wanting to start invest again, right? And I always say, uh, turn a page and a sucker is born, right? So investors are suckers for good deals as well. You being a smart investor, because obviously you subscribe to my channel and you listen to smart advice that talks about fundamentals, need to be prepared. Keep an eye out on the future as well. Look, don't be like Chicken Little. The sky is falling. The sky almost never falls and the new norm comes into place. I personally think that the economy is in a better situation, a better place to overcome the situation that we're in right now, whether it happens in a month, a year or two years, because the way that online e-commerce is kind of replacing the e-commerce that has been affected, we're in a much better place than we were in 2008, we're in 2020, and you'll see new norms coming. People will get affected. Some companies might die, but they would have died anyways, right? Be prepared with all this injection of capital into the economies the world over, Asset prices will start going up, in my opinion, I shouldn't have used the word will, in about two to three years time. Where are you going to be placed? Because if you're going to stop buying in three years time, you're going to be outpriced again. The boat's going to be sailing again. You need to st start taking stock now and paying attention now. Ciao for now. Hit the subscribe button. Press the bell icon. You want to work with me one-on-one? -on -one, WhatsApp me, my number is in the description below. I do charge a fee if you want to work one-on-one. -on -one. If you've got general questions, ask me in the comment section below or WhatsApp me, that's the quickest way. If, the, if your question's uh, worthy for a lot of people so that they can benefit, I will answer it and make a video on it. Other people can also benefit from it. Ciao for now, catch you on the other side. See you soon.